Hi everyone, welcome to the how to clean your woodwind instrument tutorial. So this is going to be for the deep cleaning of flutes, clarinets, saxophones, all varieties. We're only going to do this kind of cleaning one or two times per school year. So if I'm asking you to do this at school, it's going to be very, very important that you keep your instrument parts away from everybody else's. I'm going to be doing this demonstration on a flute, but the directions are the same for all of the woodwind instruments. Step number one is going to be to spray your mouthpiece with some disinfectant. This is not the kind of disinfectant that we have at school, but this is what I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it and get it nice and soaking wet. Get all your hot Cheeto breath off of there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to let that sit for a second so the disinfectant can work. Set that down. All right, while your mouthpiece is soaking in disinfectant, we're going to go ahead and do the next step. So I'm going to be using powder paper to clean off the insides of each of your keys. One side of the paper has got a really light powder on it and you are going to get it underneath, slide it in between, press it down and lightly, don't press too hard, and then pull it out while it's underneath. Wow, look what I got off that time. Blech. All right, now I'm going to grab the mouthpiece. And I'm going to be washing it in the sink at school, or you could be using a tub of soapy water. And there are going to be some brush choices for you. You can pick whatever will fit your mouthpiece. Or if you're using a clarinet mouthpiece or a saxophone mouthpiece, you might want to just use a Q-tip. That will work too. And then that won't scratch your instrument up quite as much. All right, soap it up, rinse it up. No other part of your instrument is allowed to get water on it. The reason why you don't want to get water on the rest of your instrument is because these cotton pads that we were just cleaning off if they get wet they will start to expand and then they burst and break open to replace all of them costs approximately two hundred and fifty dollars all right next we are going to clean underneath all of the bars there's a couple options for that I like to use a paintbrush because it will get underneath. It needs to have nice, medium soft bristles to get all the dust out from underneath the bars. If you feel like there's a spot that you'd like to get a little bit more, you're going to take a Q-tip, go under the bar and polish that spot. Make sure when you're doing this that you haven't popped any of the springs out. So here's a good example of a spring right here. I'm gonna pop it out. So if you've accidentally popped out your spring, it will look like this. And then you just need to push it back in. All right, next step. We are going to oil the screws. So you are going to get some, I usually just call it French horn oil, but this is key and rotor oil. Each bar of the instrument is connected using these screws. And you're just gonna put a little drop of oil on it. There. There. You'll also see these spots where metal connects to metal and you're going to put a little tiny drop of oil in there too, anywhere where you see connecting spots. This is going to help keep it from getting frozen. And it makes it easier for the repairman 
to get inside if he needs to. Saxophones take a longer time with this because they are such a big instrument. The next step is to polish your instrument. The flutes have a special polishing, polishing cloth. It's going to have two pieces to it. One piece is going to be for getting rid of tarnish, and then the second piece is going to be for actually polishing your instrument. So this one tells us which one it is. This one is the silver polishing cloth, so I'm gonna use this one first. You will not use this silver polishing cloth on a saxophone or on a clarinet. This is totally specific to the flute. It's the only one that's made out of silver. All right, once I have used the tarnish removing cloth, the next step is going to be to spray the instrument with polish. I like to use lacquer polish. We want to make sure that this does not get inside the keys. So you'll see that I'm going to hold it in this direction so that the spray will only land on the outside as much as possible. Trying not to get it inside. We're going to let that sit for a second. Let's go and get our mouthpiece, which was drying. All right, so now we're going to use the regular polishing cloth. This is the side that the clarinets and saxophones will use well. And we are going to just Rub that polish in, get your instrument all nice and shiny. All right, before you put your instrument back in the case, once a year, we like to get rid of any dust and things that are collecting in the case, so we'll go ahead and vacuum it. Last step, it's always important to play your instrument before you put it away so you can make sure you didn't knock out any springs while you were cleaning. Looks like we did a good job. See you in class.